Okay, we'll walk through just making your box plots look a little bit better. And I'm going to look at, focus on two variables, uh, salary now, sal now, and gender or sex. So first, just draw a box plot for sal now. And so there we have our box plot. You can see there's a lot of outliers. Since this is R, it doesn't put the extreme values on there. Hopefully someday I'll add, someone will add that to it. But for right now, we just know we have at least a bunch of outliers. I'm going to click over in the window, arrow up once, and now I'm going to just do tilde sex. So now I'm going to have two box plots, one for each of two groups. I think in this one, well, I'm pretty sure that the males are zero and the females are one. So now what I'm going to do is add some color. So I arrowed up just to get that there. Color's a little bit odd, I think. COL for color equals, now you have to create a vector of colors. So we're going to combine or concatenate, concatenate some colors. And let's try a uh, blue now let's go for light blue. That has to be in parentheses. Follow that by, uh, with a comma and open up the parentheses for your next color. If you had three box plots or four, then you would just continue to add more colors there. If you didn't, then it would just alternate the two colors. Okay, all right, see, I forgot to close my parenthesis, so now I have that. Now I'm going to add some titles. So, uh, not header, uh, main is equal to gender and pay whatever you want to call the title. Close parentheses and, uh, I'm sorry, yes, close the quote and then close the parentheses. Now I have a title up there. I'm going to bring that up. Come back and comma. I would on my script, I put these on more than one line, but since I'm trying to show you one thing at a time, I'm just going to keep adding here on one line every time. Y lay, which is Y label, is equal to current salary. Or again, whatever you want to call it. And while I'm getting that one, I might as well go ahead and get an X label, which is... Uh, Make sure you quote it. Oh, I did. Gender. And now we've got that. If you scoot this window over a little bit, you'll see that we got the current salary in there as well. <sighs> Arrow up. Now I'm going to change the, lim the limits on the uh, Y axis. Because I don't think there's a zero point there. So I'm going to do y lim. And that's equal. And this is another thing that you have to concatenate. Small c. And I'm going to put zero, comma, about 55,000. No commas in there. So I've got that. Now I have a zero to 50,000. A notch on these, and what the notch on these is called a dock box plot, is it's going to make a notch in the uh, in each of the box plots that are what we would call 50% confidence intervals for the median. Most of the stuff we do this semester will be confidence intervals and hypothesis tests for means, but this can at least give you a visualization for 
the difference between two medians. There are tests for that too. Let's put notch equal true. And there you go. And you can see the two notches don't overlap. That clearly there's a difference in the median level of pay for both for males and females. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to take the frame around from the plot and just to me, they make it look better. Frame plot equal false. There's what that did. It just took the frame out, out around from that. And then I'm going to do box wex equal 0.7. And you can play around with these kind of numbers. What I'm going to do is make my boxes a little bit narrower. Actually, I think I'd like to get them narrower, especially when you have a small number of groups you might want to. Might look better, I think. There, I think I like that a little bit better even. Okay, that concludes this one. There's plenty of more you can do with box plots. I invite you to look online at other videos or look at the R help. You could, could just if you want to. You can always just type a question mark box plot and that is going to, I this might on another screen, but it's going to take you to a web page about the box plot that gives you a list of the functions and then gives you some basic information about that and a few examples that you can use.